Let us offer our consecration to the Lord. Lord, we offer up to you this day, and we ask that your name be glorified in all that we do. We ask that we may know you, love you, and serve you as we continue in doing our Lenten discipline. Let us always be filled with ways to glorify your name and to grow in holiness. And we ask this through Christ our Lord. I had mentioned yesterday, just uh, actually almost accidentally, that the first reading today would be coming from uh, Leviticus. No, actually not. Uh, It actually comes from Isaiah. And it's this famous reading. Again, um, you can follow along in your favorite uh, daily missal, whether it's an actual daily missal that you can buy from your whatever store or anything you have. You can also find it from uh, various uh, places you can get to your Magnificat, which is by subscription. You can the Word Among Us by subscription and others, and you can go to Bible.usccb.org, and you'll find the daily readings there. So I don't read them on the program. If you're new to the program, I I actually talk about them that I don't read them. One of the there are two reasons. One is time, and the other one is copyright issues. That's a different story. I'll talk about that another time. But anyway, so anyway, we're looking at Isaiah 55, 10 through 11. And this is a famous passage that talks about something that we see a dynamic within. You saw it this past Sunday where Jesus says that man does not live by bread alone, but by every word that comes from the mouth of God. And that is that we need physical nourishment, but we also need the nourishment of the Word of God. Now, one of the interesting things that we find is that this is what Isaiah is talking about, that we also, that God's Word will complete what God wants it to do. So if you think God's you know, creates the apple seed so that when you plant the apple seed in the ground, an apple tree comes up eventually, and that brings fruit of apples, hence it's an apple tree. Well, at the same time, what we see here is that God's word is designed that when people hear it and open themselves to it, actually, whether they do or not, God's will be done. And so that's an important message, and to put trust in God's Word. Now, one of the curses in the Bible, actually, is that God's Word will be uh, taken away from the people. You'll find it in the 8th chapter of Amos. And as we look at that in the 8th chapter of of Amos, where the Lord says that there will be a famine on the land, and the famine will not be of bread, but it will be a famine of hearing the word of God. Now, why would that be a famine? And the answer is simple. What does the word of God bring to us? The word of God brings to us wisdom. And the more we hear and listen to the word of God, the more we obey wisdom and we act on it. Yesterday, I talked about the idea of not engaging in anything that bullies another person. Well, let me talk about that for a second is one of the things that pops into my mind in this is something that happened uh, back when I was in in the Navy and there was a guy who just constantly getting picked on whatever reason and I would he wasn't in my division so I couldn't do much about it but when people would go to pick on him around me I'd say knock it off just leave him alone and uh, that's something that, that happened where, I, uh, you know, I just say, you know, would you leave me alone? Knock it off. And some people gave me a hard time about that. And I just, you know, brush it off. I, I, I'm pretty good at giving certain responses. I'm, I don't do it as much now, but uh, back in the day, as the expression goes, I was really sharp tongue in good is be able to say something that would have you go, okay, we'll leave you alone, right? So anyway, but that's what I'm talking about. When you act on God's wisdom and you hear God's wisdom and you act on it, you're going to act differently and you're going to live as the Lord calls you to be. But if you have a society that is has a famine of God's word, they're not going to hear God's word and therefore they're not going to act on God's word. And since they're not going to act on God's word, there will be suffering there. And one of the ways that some of the lack of God's word shows itself is in uh, the way people attack each other, 
Remember, if you think of it this way, we're all called to love one another. So if you do the opposite of what God wants you to do, at at worst, you're just going to ignore everybody or you're going to attack people and you're going to turn into an anarchy. That's what I think happened in Sodom and Gomorrah. People say, no, it was filled with sin. No, it turned into an anarchy. And the anarchy was filled with people saying, I want my world my way, which you've heard me say in previous years in this program, that is the source of evil. You want to see the source of evil? A whole bunch of people turning around saying, I want my world my way. And when people do that, they are not listening to the word of God. So when we go back to those words and we go back to those powerful words, we can see that God's word has his purpose for us. And so when we listen to it and act on it, we are can do some powerful things. And I'm not talking about necessarily moving mountains or walking on water, but the way we interact with people is powerful. And God's word will always seek and always do rather what the Lord wants it to do. But the more we open ourselves to God's word, the more this can happen. And the opposite can also happen, that famine of God's word when we reject God's word and then we don't. And then what do you have? You will not act on God's word. And so you will follow whatever pattern that that you are being led down. We're going to talk more on the other side of the break. You're listening to St. Anthony Overnight from St. Anthony Parish in Alston, Massachusetts here on WEZE. Have you told anyone else about St. Anthony Overnight from St. Anthony Parish in Alston, Massachusetts here on WEZE in the early morning and through CatholicAudioMedia.com? You realize we are a different Catholic program because we are not speaking just to Catholics. We, we speak, speak to ex-Catholics, ex-Catholics atheists, atheists, evangelicals, and, and people from all different religious and non-religious backgrounds. backgrounds. We do this from a Catholic perspective. So you're not going to hear what you hear on other programs because we have a different mission serving Jesus Christ. Tell your friends what we do here is different, and it is so that we all may experience Jesus who sets us all free. And don't forget our own website, catholicaudiomedia.com. That's catholicaudiomedia.com. Check out the website. Spread the information about the show, which also appears on your favorite podcast platform, some of which are listed there at catholicaudiomedia.com. You can connect to our Reddit sub reddit or subreddit on reddit whatever uh twitter everything else catholicaudiomedia.com that's catholicaudiomedia.com and hey could you do us a favor i was talking about this yesterday could do us a favor if you really would want to support the show could you do us a favor could you make a donation to the boston catholic appeal in the name of the program and or the parish saint anthony and alston you don't know how much that would really benefit this program so if you're making a donation in the name of your own parish, please continue to do that. But if you're not making it and you'd like to, please consider that. Go to bostoncatholicappeal.org for more information. That's bostoncatholicappeal.org. And thank you so much for doing that. Well, we're talking about this powerful message of God's Word and how we listen to God's Word. That's why it's so important to know God's Word. And we act on it. And by acting on it, we bring God's Word will to be done. God's will will always be done because he is God, but we want to be part of that. That's why we are are seeking to do that. Now remember, God's word, especially the commandments, as Dennis Prager explains in his uh, Rational Bible series in Deut- Deuteronomy, is written in stone. The commandments are written in stone. Jesus' words, by the way, are not He never wrote down a single thing. And St. Augustine says, because we come to a deeper understanding of what his words are and what he is going to uh, do through us or what he wants us to understand. So over the centuries, our understanding of his words grows. That's important, important to know. But at the same time, one of the things we really want to come to know and appreciate is that God's word is always behind the scenes doing what the Lord wants it to do. And even when you think of this uh, famine that the Lord sent that we see in the book of Amos, chapter 8, that is God accomplishing his 
goal. What is he doing? He's disciplining the people. He's telling the people, if you're not going to listen to me, then I don't have to speak to you. And if you don't want me to speak to you, then you can go on your own. You go, "Uh uh-oh. It's kind of like one of my favorite stories is Ezekiel is always trying to warn the people and they're not listening. And finally, the Lord says to Ezekiel to get all packed and to walk out of the city, go through this, the doorway in the wall, walk out of the city and leave. And I always tell people, imagine that scenario and someone's going to say, hey, uh, the prophet just left. That's not a good sign if you really think about it. And that gets people attention. The silence can get people's attention. So consider that. Uh, as this is one of the things that the Lord is saying in this first reading from Isaiah 55, that his word, just like the rain and the sun accomplish God's will, so does his word accomplish his will on the earth. So keeping that in mind. Well, we'll be back tomorrow, same time here on WEZE, and you can also hear us at catholicaudiomedia.com. Don't forget our other program at uh, 3 o'clock in the afternoon, WROL. In the meantime, have yourself a blessed day as we continue through this first week of Lent, and we'll see you tomorrow. I want to call your attention to Catholic TV, which offers great faith-filled, family-friendly programming 24 hours a day. You can find your cable channel at www.getcatholictv.com, and you can watch online on the free apps or check out the YouTube channel. Daily Mass, Rosaries, the Divine Mercy Chaplet, and the Our Lady of Perpetual Help Novena are all available online and on demand. Check out Catholic TV. Com. If you would like to support our program, please consider a donation to St. Anthony Parish in Alston, Massachusetts. There are several ways to consider this. One is to purchase any of our merchandise, which you can find at the shopping tab at catholicaudiomedia.com. That's catholicaudiomedia.com. There are coffee mugs there. There's also my latest book, Encounter Christ in Your Humanity, all of which you can find at the shopping tab at catholicaudiomedia.com. You can also donate to the show directly through either the Donate tab, also at catholicaudiomedia.com, or by sending a donation through the U.S. Postal Service with your questions and comments at 43 Holton Street, Alston, Massachusetts, 02134. That's St. Anthony Parish, 43 Holton Street, Alston, Massachusetts, 02134. Finally, the best way you can support our parish is to attend Mass on Sundays at 10 o'clock and be a part of our parish. We thank you for any support you would like to give to St. Anthony Parish in Alston, Massachusetts, the sponsoring parish for this media outreach to Catholics and other Christians in the WROL, WEZE, and podcast listening audience. In Cristo vivimos.